Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Autodesk. So if you don't know by now, Autodesk has just started hiring for software engineering interns today itself. So this is a great opportunity for all of you people that are looking for an internship. So in this video, we'll be talking more about the role, like what kind of skills are they looking for. We'll be talking about the eligibility. And of course, as always, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to get your resume shortlisted. So everything that you need for this is going to be within this video. So make sure to watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. They actually opened for intent yesterday also, but they closed it within a day. And now this is another fresh opening. So I highly recommend that you guys apply as soon as possible. It is open right now, but we don't know how long it's going to stay open. So actually make sure that you're applying as soon as possible. Okay, do not delay it, do not postpone it. The link to apply is going to be in the description box. Okay, and if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you keep on applying, but you're not able to get a call back with your resume, or you're struggling in the interviews, you're struggling in the OA, you don't know how to master DSA for the interviews, you don't know how to master development, or any other sort of issues you're facing in your placement journey or in your career, then you can connect one to one with me. And I'll personally help you, guide you, mentor you, and make sure that you get everything needed so that you're able to crack your dream company. So you can connect one to one with me. The link again is going to be in the description box for that. Okay. All right. Coming back to this opportunity, like I said, Autodesk is hiring for software engineering intern. This is a fresh opportunity. This was posted today itself, as you can even see on the page. It says posted today on the workday. Okay, and it's a it's the freshest opening they have basically. If you take a look at the list of openings Autodesk has, this is the freshest opening. This is the you know like the opening that is the newest that they have. Now the location for this is going to be in Bangalore. The duration of the internship is not mentioned, but most probably it will be six months or above because Autodesk hires for a longer duration of intern compared to other company, right? But again, we cannot guarantee it cannot be for two or three months also. But generally, based on the trends, I have seen Autodesk hires for six months interns and more. Okay, right. Now let's talk about the eligibility. So the eligibility, they haven't mentioned clearly in the last opening. They mentioned it clearly. I like that. But in this one, they have not mentioned the eligibility very clearly. I'll tell you what they've mentioned and then we can discuss on that. Right. So what they've mentioned is zero to two years of experience in Mernstack. Okay, so zero to two years of experience or academic exposure to Mernstack. So that's what they've written. So first thing, of course, 25 grad is eligible because you fall under both criteria. Even if you're zero to two years of experience, 25 grad will fall for that, will fall into that. And if you have academic exposure, you'll fall in that also. So 2025 grad is definitely eligible, right? Because in zero to two years of experience, you guys fall under the category of zero years experience, which is inclusive under zero to two. Now for 26 grad, it says that zero to two years of experience or academic exposure. So for 26 grad, I am assuming you guys can apply as well, given you have the skills. If you have the skills, if you have exposure to Mernstag, go for it, apply for it, okay? Because they are being ambiguous. So what do I say? If you're in doubt, go ahead and apply, okay? So again, the eligibility, 25 grad and before can surely apply if you're 25 grad, 24 grad, 23 grad, go ahead and apply, no worries. 26 grad, if you have the skills, go for it, apply for it, okay? So that's what they mean when this is zero to two years of experience or academic exposure to the stacks that they're mentioning, right? And of course, I mentioned Mern stack, so that brings me to the role you guys already know. It is a role that is aligned towards Mern stack or aligned towards full stack with Mern, right? Which is a good thing because a lot of you guys already know Mernstack. A lot of you guys have already worked on Mernstack, right? So it's just a full stack role. It's a full stack developer intern role. And primarily they're using Mernstack. Apart from that, they mentioned some other technologies as well. They've mentioned some other keywords in, under their requirements as well. What I'll be doing, I'll be consolidating all of the keywords and give, I'll be giving you a list of keywords in the description box, okay? From that list of keywords, you can understand more about the role. But I already said it's a full stack developer role and you can use those keywords, integrate them in your resume. Okay, because of course your resume should be aligned to the role that you're applying for. Like I always say, if they're asking for front end, your resume should be front end. If they're asking for back end, your resume should be back end. That is a given. That's the first thing you have to do. Absolutely, you have to mold your resume according to them. So the keywords, the list of keywords will help you for that. Apart from that, of course, it's a full stack role. So keep full stack projects in your resume. If possible, key full stack projects with AI integration in your resume, which I always recommend not only for this role, but for other roles as well. So keep high quality full stack projects in your resume with a sharp description. I cannot tell you how much the project description matters. And I see a lot of people ignoring project description. Don't do that. It matters. Even if the project is good, the text stacks are good. If the description isn't good, you can get rejected. So prepare the best resume with showcasing 
full stack projects high quality projects as possible if you have deployed your project give the link to them give the link to the github prepare everything neatly cleanly and use a good resume template i'll give you guys one resume template use that if you're not using apart from that i'll give you guys websites to check your ats score use your web, use them to check your ats score and increase upon it if possible the ats score should be above 75 to 80 the higher it is the better it's going to be but minimum it should be 75 to 80 and above okay so do all of these things and you'll have a great chance of getting shortlisted see openings are coming it's not that openings are not coming we are seeing a lot of openings every day but a lot of people are not able to get shortlisted because they don't have the resume that it takes to stand out they don't have the resume that it takes to beat the competition the competition is so tremendously high you need something that beats everyone else you need something that makes you stand out of everyone else this is why i always recommend have an achievements or certification section where you can put sort of some achievements or something that you have done that is sort of extra right and if you're a college student keep working on it try to work on providing something in your resume providing something for yourself in your resume that makes you stand out right there are multiple things you can do you can do you can become very good in dsa problem solving you can become very good at development do hackathons do coding challenges do open source multiple things you can do which others are not doing right so try to highlight the points in your resume that others are not doing that will of course help you okay so that's pretty much it i don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be apply asap we don't know when it will close there's no guarantee last time autodesk closed it within a day within i think 16 to 17 hours so make sure that you apply asap and even if you're not able to do not worry a lot of more openings are coming i just need you to be prepared keep applying keep preparing and let me see you guys in the next video